Hello everyone, welcome to the part number four of the third milestone. So as you know, in the last episode, what we've done, it's this is possible to like, but the thing is we're gonna need to refresh to get the like showing there. So now it's gonna be time to uh, update the store. Uh, I mean, like updating the uh, Apollo store, uh, like the cache if you, you like more. And uh, for that, and I have two articles you're gonna really need to, to read about that. It's gonna be like updating the store and using Fragment in Apollo. I'm gonna give the link in the description. But finally, uh, first thing, the Fragment is gonna be pretty important. It's uh, you can share a piece of code for the logic. So uh, in logic, so example, you can create a Fragment called uh, named Spark, who's gonna be a type person. Where you say finally I want first name and last name. So every time you want to get the first name and last name, you're just gonna say name part, so you don't need to say first name, last name. So if you update first name to be, I don't know, like username, you just updated that here and that's gonna be update here. So that can get pretty good. And now here we're gonna use uh, the update function inside uh, the mutation. It's gonna look like this. So this is where we're gonna update the the, the, the store finally. Uh, and everything about that. So this is what we're gonna jump. So jump back in the code, make sure your simulator is running and your server is running. And now what we're gonna do, it's everything gonna start inside the feed screen because this is the place where we have here the uh, photo. It's time to create a fragment. So I'm gonna create a new file inside this feed screen called uh, fragments.js. Inside this one, I'm gonna import GQL from GraphQL tag, and I'm gonna export const photo uh, feed photo fragment equal a GQL. Here, this is how you you start a fragment. You say fragment feeds photo. I call that feeds photo because this is the feeds screen, and there's gonna be a photo. So feeds photo on photo so type photo and all right there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy paste what I need here like that okay now I'm gonna need to go at the top of this file so the feed screen well I'm gonna import from my fragment like that and I'm gonna import my feed photo fragment I'm gonna take this feed photo fragment and now I'm gonna delete that here and outside of the query you're gonna put a dollar sign fragment and now you say dot 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 and now here you put the name you have put right there so feed photo like that and you spread make sure it works by refreshing your screen and it should work yes perfect so now we have the fragment there and why I want to do this when everything was working before it's because now inside the photo card so inside the index address here while we do the update we're gonna need this fragment to uh, finally change it Gonna import a fragment we just create, and I know I should have placed place that somewhere else, and we're gonna manage that in other episode to make it better, I think. But for now, we're gonna be good. And now here we have the photo fragment. The thing after that, it's here like photo. I don't want to just be called like photo. I want to be called like photo mutation. So I'm gonna click enter here and say like photo mutation, mutation, and I'm gonna change like photo at this three place by doing command D or control D I think in window like photo mutation now you came here and you change this to be like photo mutation and now we are gonna change it here a uh, second thing after that now we're gonna remove all the code we have done in the last episode we don't need that anymore here because we're gonna manage that in this props and now we don't need any more the name so we're gonna open the curly bracket and we're gonna say props and this props here is gonna take, uh, gonna uh, do like have a, having a function, we're gonna return an object like that. Okay, so the props here are gonna receive two things we're gonna receive mutate and we're gonna receive on props. So that's gonna be the props of this component. So as you know, we're gonna use that to getting the own props that data that, that ID. Okay, to get the ID of the photo. After that, right there, we're gonna create a function called on like photo mutation so this function now become a prop getting passed to this photo card so we can call that right there like doing this and now this function unlike photo mutation here is going to be a function 
who we're now gonna call the mutate function and we'll take an object. So this is the same mutate as what we have before. This one take a variables object. Why now we take the photo ID, but we're gonna get that from the own props that data that ID. Okay. After that, we're gonna add the update uh, function I just show you right here. Using update give you full control over the cache. And this is what I like. I like to have the control right there. For now, we're gonna say update. In this one, I have the store. And after that, we're gonna have the data. And inside the data, we can destructure it and get the like photo. So this thing need to have the same name. So this thing need to have the same name as your uh, what you're gonna receive inside your right there. So now at the store finish here. So now we're gonna do an arrow function here. And put in curly bracket. I think I have made a mistake. I think it's uh, one sec. I get too much uh, like photo like that. Okay, no, we're gonna just do like that. Uh, like that variable update and update. We have this arrow here finishing and. I think we should be good with that. Hmm. What I've done wrong. So I have my curly bracket here. Okay, I think we missed one curly bracket now. So this one is this one, synthesis. After that, we have this one here, but this one. Okay, so we miss one curly bracket, I think. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna import from uh, my, so as you see, I'm gonna import default data object from, uh, that default data ID from object. So you're gonna get the ID from an object inside the cache. So you import that for the, from the in-memory cache. And I'm gonna show you here. You create a, uh, an ID by calling this function, default data from, uh, default data ID from object. We're gonna pass it a type name of photo. And now we're gonna just pass it an ID of own props that photo, uh, that data, that ID, okay? Now we're gonna control log this ID. So we're gonna go in step, okay? So what this ID gonna give us? So now if I open my React Native Debugger and my project and I click, I get photo one. So you see, because it's a type photo and the ID is one. So photo one, photo two. So now we can update that inside the, crew, um, the, the cache because this is what you need to understand. The way Apollo save it, it, you put the type first and after that colon and your ID. So this way, uh, if you have like a, I don't know, like a, a user with the ID number one, like we get in Postgres, if we keep the auto uh, increment, it's th that going to be kind of uh, hard for Apollo to know which one. So they put the type first. Okay. And now what we can do is we can get this photo from the fragment inside the cache. So we can say proxy, then a proxy store that read fragment. And this one take two things for reading the fragment. You take the ID, the one we have right here, and you take the fragment. And we pass it the feed photo fragment. That's it. So now we're gonna take this, put it below, just because I want to console look this one. Like that. Refreshing your screen, Instagram, blah blah blah. We click now. And now this is what I get. I get when I like uh, my photo, finally my full photo inside the cache. As you can see, we have a type name photo, the symbol ID get photo two, viewer like true, viewer like false. So now you see, we can change that, but how can we do this? So you see, we have this update function here, and look here what they do. You can write query, but also uh, you can update a fragment. I like to update more a fragment here because it's just the little, little part. I will update my query or something like that when I'm gonna add, example, an item inside that example, when we're gonna create a new photo, we're gonna add that to the query we have got. 
But now, because this is a fragment, it's a thing about that, it's just a simple object. We want to just update a simple Boolean. That's why now we can do star, right fragment. We we'll take the same ID, the same fragment. And now you take data. So what do you want to update? Now, as you know, the photo is the full object. So we're going to just say dot 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 photo. Keep the photo like it was before. But now the viewer light is going to be equal to this function here. But before I show you that, I'm going to show you what this thing gave us. So I'm going to say light photo like that. Okay. This thing, if you follow what I'm trying to tell you, this thing just returned finally the Boolean. You see? So now we can use it for just doing photo light like that. So now if we remove all that and we're refreshing the screen, look, now looks what's gonna happen. I can click and you see, I can like whichever, uh, whatever the one we want. And all that is being persist. So I click, you see? So now we have updated the cache and it's still safe. Now the thing is about that, uh, don't worry about this. We're going to manage to do another way. We're going to use data loader and things like that in one of the latin, uh, latest part because this thing is really bad for the end one uh, problem. <laughs> but at least we can see it's pretty fast. So, But now the thing is we need to wait again to get the like. And now you see sometimes we click too much fast and now we're going to get some kind of error because sometimes you're going to have like, I don't know how to call that, but like um, uh, two, two things want to happen in the same time. So we have kind of a thing about like a course, uh, not a course, but uh, like a, a race. Yeah, I can use the name. But we're going to manage that for sure. And we're going to make use of the optimistic UI and thing like that. But don't worry about that. I think right now we have pretty much done what we need in this uh, part here. So what we're going to need to do is the optimistic UI. And I think after that, what we should do also for uh, finishing um, this kind of uh, capstone, it's gonna be to uh, like uh, maybe adding, uh, be able to add a photo. So I think I'm gonna maybe do this in the four milestone. So the four milestone is gonna be ab about adding a photo because right now, yeah, okay, we have the photo we have in the back end, but a user cannot even add a photo. So that's why we're gonna need to uh, install uh, uh, one library. We're gonna first start by the user can only uh, send the photo inside his phone uh, first. And also we're gonna make use of pre-signed URL from the S3, for, uh, for, from a S3 bucket in AWS. So uh, the user can select a photo inside the phone and push that. And after that, we're gonna just do the same, but now a user can take a photo and take the photo we have just create and pushing back also that to the S3. Then you're gonna see pre-sign URL is pretty simple to use. So, so this is uh, that for this milestone. So I hope you enjoy for the this optimistic UI we're gonna do like maybe to getting more faster and thing like that. We're gonna all do this at the end when we're gonna want to uh, like. Uh, See, it's almost done for the production, like because right now, thing in MVP, we can like. So, but the real time data, like in stuff, stuff like that, it's something we you can do after uh, we get at least the product. So, so you see. So we're gonna talk in the next uh, milestone. Uh, we'll, I'm gonna surely start this one uh, today or tomorrow. So, have a good night, uh, day, everyone. Bye.